Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. Today I would like to share my testimony with you on how I use fasting and prayers to fight my battle. Just over a year ago, um, I had such a difficult working environment with an ex-colleague. The colleague, my ex-colleague, had no authority over me as a manager. That colleague had no authority over me as a team leader or a supervisor. But for some strange reason, I felt like being controlled by that ex-colleague. I get random emails questioning me. What is the decision on this case? What is the outcome of this case? What is the agreement on this case? And that was not sitting well for me. I wasn't happy because truth be told, you... We are all working as a team, but some people are head, they supervise, they control, but not just an officer trying to control me. That I, I didn't I didn't like it. Let me be honest. I wasn't happy about that experience. One day I was at my desk and all of a sudden an email popped and I read it. And this this ex-colleague asking me, was this agreement on this account? I just replied. The annoying thing is that ex-colleague would never even say, hello, Sophia, how are you? Or hi, and it, nothing. Go straight away. What was the agreement on this case? What was the decision on this case? So on that fateful day, I just read the email. What is the agreement on this case? I also replied, if you go onto the agreement tab, the decision is there. And I just held my head this way, and I just... Pray to God, God, what do I do? I just heard a clear, a clear voice. Fasting and prayers. Then on, on my way home, on the train, I had a Bible verse to use, Psalm 35. So it's like everything was set up for me. I asked God, what do I do? The answer is fasting and prayers. On my way home, I just heard a clear voice. Use some 35. Hmm, guys, I did that three days fast. The next week, I kept hearing rumors in the office. Oh, this person is leaving. This person is leaving. I said, oh my God, did the fasting just work quickly like that? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And from what I gathered, or from the information I got, is that this ex-colleague is asking for a managerial salary. The senior manager said, okay, you are very good at what you do, but we cannot give you a managerial salary. We can increase your salary by £3,000, which is, I, I, I will be, I'm on the same job level, same job discretion, but this colleague was being offered £3,000 more than we other officers. But he said, no, he doesn't want it. He wants to leave. He said, no, either they give him the managerial um, salary or he leaves. Because he's unfair play to him, this colleague is good at what he does. He was offered £3,000 more to stay. He said, no, he doesn't feel like staying. He wants to go. I say hallelujah, praise the Lord. And during that preparation or the handing over time, I have very close friends at work who are Ghanaians. I'm Ghanaian. And we click so well. See, the Ghanaian thing, we have to stay together. And my, my friend came to me. Yo, he's a proper Londoner, London boy. He was born in London, brought up in London. So he speaks all the jargons in London, like street language. I was just doing my stuff and I just raised up my head. My, my friend was standing there. He said, Mr. T, yo. I said, what? Come, come, come. So I walked out and my close friend said to me, what's going on with this person? I said, what's going on how? That person said, you've changed towards him. You don't speak to him anymore. You are not close with him anymore. I said, it's too late to complain. 
my arrows have worked already. My fireworks has, my spiritual fireworks has taken place already. So, my dear, let's meet at lunch. I have an email to respond to. Let me respond to that email. I will call you. So you come down. We go to the lunch. Then I, 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 will, I will brief you on exactly what happened. Guys, that is what I said. I don't want to go speaking to this colleague back and forth. Then I'll be branded as women of color are aggressive or people of color are aggressive. Because when you work in a corporate environment, that is how we are being tagged sometimes, not always. We are being tagged as aggressive. So I said, God, what do I do? The clear answer was fasting and prayers. Guys, I did it. I did it wholly. I did it with every fiber in me. And some uh, 35, I said, Lord, let them fall into their own pit that they dug for me. Let the angels of the Lord pursue them. Let the angels of the Lord chase them, which means chase them out of this place for them to leave me alone. I said, let the angels of the Lord pursue them. Let the angels of the Lord chase them. May they fall into their own pit that they dug for me. Father, you say you contend with those that contend against me. And you fight against those that fight against me. Father, you know my heart. I've got no evil against this person. But this person is refusing to give me peace. So therefore, I want this person out of my way. Remember, when you read Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, it says, Surely I say unto you, whatsoever you burn on earth is burned in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. Guys, I use all those scriptures. Listen, I, because I was so frustrated that I wanted peace. I'm a, I'm a kind of person that I hate stress. I don't like stress. So I just did that. Re, uh, did three days dry, reading my Bible. So I'll be walking around just reading, uh, saying Psalm 35. Yes, yeah, Psalm 35. I just say all the words that I can come into my way, all the words possible. Anything that comes into my w mind. From Psalm 35, I was just speaking it whilst I'm walking around in the house, whilst I'm doing my stuff. I'm just reciting it, speaking the word from Psalm 35. Within a week, I had my peace. Guys, if I went speaking back, back and forth, why are you writing this email to me? You're not my manager. You are not this. You are not that. Then it, it will brand me as a bad person. So sometimes, you don't have to use your mouth in the physical world. If someone is talking to you, Send them away. Send them away. Don't 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 play at all. Because in your heart, you've got nothing against them. But they just don't want to give you peace. So, guys, this is the testimony I'm sharing with you today. That if you're having any difficult situation, speak to God. That what do I do, God? I'm choking of, of, of sorrow. I'm choking of pain. I can't speak. I don't want to go out and say, oh, this person is sending emails to me and I'm not happy about them. It's you, the black woman, or you, the woman of color. You're causing trouble. You're causing problem. Because in a corporate environment, that is what that is how we have been perceived as, as aggressive. So I kept my mouth shush. And when I came home, I threw my fireworks. This one, not any bad fireworks. Though. Scripture fireworks with my stomach as my sacrifice to, to fight this battle. And I had my peace. And there was a man of God, a pastor, in my workplace. And I said to him, this person was tormenting me. He said, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know he was tormenting you. And I said, yeah, you see? Prayer and fasting, I sent him away. And I said to the man of God, that there's somebody else too that's tormenting me. And he said, no, 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 please. Don't do another prayer and fasting. Leave that one alone. Let's, let's monitor things. But that one has not changed. That one has not changed. I've given that person a whole year long to change. That person has not changed. So, guys, I, I've got other videos to make. When I have the time and energy for that person, that one, I'll do seven days dry. Then we see who is who. Okay? The, the scripture says he's given us the power and authority to step up on serpents and scorpions. So, if anything bothering you physically, please, do your thing. And bear in mind, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against spirits of wicked places, demonic, satanic spirit. And when you're sometimes in a certain environment, people can see some kind of light upon you. But because you don't have the spiritual eyes, you see what they are. You don't know that 
spiritually you are clashing with that person that person can see something in you can see the power of god in you and they don't like it they can see it they're not comfortable with it so they start fighting you rather you need to be alert be alert and, and monitor things if something is going around you that's the bible is there you are not going to any juju or black magic person or go to any voodoo for any powers you are using the scriptures which the, the god the our god gave us that this is what i've given you read and implement it have faith in the words use the words because i for fact know that the world the world in which we are living when god was creating the world all he did is words he just uttered, let there be light there was there was light let um see separate from the land and it happened when jesus christ came into the world and he was preaching when i think when you read the book of matthew the first um i think from chapter 9 10 that way he just spoke words and things were happening so guys i just want to encourage you don't waste your breath fighting back and forth using words you'll be you rather who is a victim of abuse things will be turned against you that oh she's aggressive she doesn't know how to work in a corporate environment yes i know how to work in a corporate environment but i'm not going to take any form of abuse i had a right to work peacefully i had a right to work comfortably and so long as i'm delivering i have a right to have my peace at work so therefore my fasting and prayers will never stop and i'm encouraging each and every one watching this video that don't stop arguing with people at work stop going back to back and forth with people at work go to your bible go on your knees speak the word tell god father you said in the book of psalm 35 that you contend with those that contend against us you fight those that fight against us father you said you would let the angels of the lord pursue them you would let the angels of the lord chase them they will fall into their own pit that they, they have dug for you whatever they wish for you back to sender so guys this is my word of encouragement to you this is how i fought my battle with fasting and prayers guys i thank you so much for all the support that you're giving me watching this video commenting and i will also want to request if you have any topic that you want me to talk about or share my knowledge on something biblically or my, my journey into being a good christian now be a straight christian not the past christian we only go to church go raving go dancing go no 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 no, no. we can't say two gods if you are narrow be narrow if you are broad be broad or if, if god doesn't like lukewarm water you want the hot water or the cold water so i've decided to be in one lane to be hot for god so if you've got anything in mind that you want me to talk about please just leave comments below and I would also request that if you love my videos, you find it useful, genuinely useful, please share it on and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Thank you very much. I love you all. Shalom. I pray that the Lord Almighty bless you this week. May blessings locate you. May surprise, surprises or surprise blessings visit you everywhere you are. I pray the peace of the Lord upon your home, everything you do, everything you touch. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shalom. Peace. Bye. Love you all.